Right, next creation. I don't know how this one's going to go. But I'm going to try and build a crane. So, it's going to be fairly straightforward, I think, if it goes to plan. I shouldn't need to manufacture too much. But I've got this big old chunk of steel, which looks like a bloody train track. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But what I'm thinking to do is, rather than having to make everything from scratch, Because there's different ways I've seen these boomer poles being made. Oh, that's not right. And yeah, the two different styles you've got one which seems to be the most common, and that is you have a frame like this, and then the pole will be attached to this frame. Yeah, obviously this goes on the three point with a top link pole coming off here and then like supports onto the pole from there to strengthen it and that that seems to be the most common but the thing that I didn't really like about that is the arm is fixed so you imagine this on here now so looking at this now I don't actually know if this is going to work my idea because of this bit but yeah if this is on the back of the tractor and you lift the arms up this thing goes up straight basically it's got a little bit of an angle to it but it's not a lot and there's you have to move the arms a lot to get much movement out of the back so my thinking is rather than having a top link if I can make this attach to here and then have the A-frame and then somehow put this pin in there then as you lift the arms up the pole is going to do that because this will be pushing up in the middle now I don't know if maybe that kind of design can't carry as much weight because it's not got the same support, I don't know, maybe the pole then can't be as long or... yeah, I don't even know if it can be this long anyway to be honest because it is quite massive but I thought I'd try it that way first because in my mind, you know, you can show it with this so if this is, imagine this is this as I lift these arms up, this thing is going to going to pivot right up so I'll be able to get it really high. Trouble is now after getting into it it's not going to work because that's there which is a problem. Doing it the way I want to do it there's less points of failure that I need to make you know the worst that can happen is this is going to bend if I put too much load on it. Whereas if I build one onto here, then I've got to do support beams, and you know, it's a lot of welding. I'm not the best welder. It's probably gonna snap, <laughs> if we're honest. So, yeah, that, that then makes it, the only points of failure will be the welding of the bits here, if I do a bad job at that. But that's less work. I like less work. We've got a friend. He's called Camberwell Beauty. And he's just lovely. Sun's coming. He's very hairy. He's got insulation on his back. Oh, I see the colours now on there. Oh! oh. <laughs> In the face! He's off. Oh. Oh. Both of us, oh. <laughs> on the triangle, They're hanging oh, around no. the tractor. <laughs> oh, shut up. 
Right, I've just been staring at this for a minute and I just realised I'm being a bit of a donkey. I'm not used to this farmer stuff, alright? These things don't come naturally. However, I have just realised all of this faffery is a bit unnecessary because really all I need is two extension plates on here. And that's it. <laughs> Maybe that goes into two of these holes and puts another hole about this high, just two plates. And that'll do it. Overcomplicating it, Pollard. Don't need to do that. And then one end of the boom in there, the middle in there. And that's it. Don't even need this frame thing. So I can use that for something else. Not very well equipped for big metal stuff, but we get there in the end. extremely hot so needs to cool down for a bit but that's the first piece well it's the piece so I did these bolts a bit big made them sloppy Hang on. This bloody face mask on. you know for years Whenever I've been out like grinding and welding, whatever, never bothered with masks. And then at the end of the day, you go in and your nose is just full of like black, just shit, basically. So for the sake of three quid, four quid for a pack of these, it can't do any harm. So, oh, I needed to weld down at this bottom seam as well. Forgot about that. I'll leave that for now. Don't really need to do that. I've welded the top seams and both sides, so I think the bottom will be alright. Probably overkill. So what I need to do now is drill two big holes there and there so it can locate on the frame and then yeah I did this these holes at the top oh not too bad actually I did them big I think this is the bolt I'm going to use the pin but I just knew they wouldn't and they wouldn't line up <laughs> I'd get it wrong and then I'd be annoyed and I'd have to grind it all out so I thought do them bigger than they need to be and then I can always find a bigger pin later down the line. 
It's like predicting my uh, amateurness. I'm just going to do one hole to begin with. I think it's going to need two, but just while we get it set up. Uh, this is still warm from welding. Oh, yes. Yeah, we're definitely going to need two. But you see where we're going now. So that's going to be locked like that, and then the pole is going to sit in there. So what I need to do... Uh, do I need to... I need a hole in the end. And I need a hole here. This is going to be fun to drill through. So... hole in the end and also I need to cut off some of this top lip because this should fit which it does I rounded the ends a little bit so I'll well they're not equal pollard are they? oh no they are the pole is on the piston So that's going to need to be about there. Let's see how wrong we got it. <laughs> I'm going to have to mount it to be able to see where to drill the final hole. I don't even know if this is going to work. Wait, no. I need you. I don't need the other bit. So if it doesn't work like this, I can always try and build one the way that everyone else builds one. I suppose. But what's the fun in that? See? Oh, we're in now. Probably going to want to make some kind of bushings or spacers for that. That's going to be flapping around everywhere and probably damage this casing, which we don't want. So, I'll have to find a bit of tube. Wonder how much range of movement we've got. Just need to take those corners off. Oh, how the hell am I going to do this? Oh. I can take this frame off because that's excess weight that we don't need right now. So it don't. Hang on. I'm gonna have to mark this and get it. Oh, Christ. I'm gonna have to go higher with it. My freaking wrist. Look, there's a frame really heavy as well. Yes, it is. Everything's so heavy. I can wait, have you got it? You're gonna try and push it up? Yeah. Yeah, that's better. 
can't. Let's go a bit higher. Yeah. yeah. Higher and much higher. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, okay. right, there. Oh, now go down. Yeah. But keep going. All right, just look. All right, just hold it there. Okay. All right, roughly, I think. Yeah, that should be right. Oh. All right, you want to No cats, no dogs. No. Right. Now I've got it. The last hole is drilled. So, ready to assemble. And give me a hand. Is that glove? Hmm? Oh. I think uh, we can get this first. Get this in a comfortable position. Oh, it's got a shoulder. Yeah, but it's only it doesn't need to be. Okay. You got it? Uh, yes. You sure? Oh, hold on. I'll go put some washers in here. Oh, we'll leave the washers for the trial then. You can let go now. Huh? You can let go. What do you mean? Let go. Yeah, we're definitely going to need that For second sure. hole. Oh, interesting. Come on, baby boy, go in. Don't you want to see it work? Uh, yeah. I've got to start the tractor anyway. Yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to do another hole so this stays straight because that's not ideal being loose like that but oh my god got a bit of flex in it already maybe it won't work but we'll see we'll give it a try
great. Question is, what could we lift? 